Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. In Lightroom's library module, you can display lots of really useful information in both the thumbnails in the grid view and on each image in the loop view. So if I double click on this image, I come up to here and when I change that image, you can see all my exposure information up there. I've got it set so that it only shows it when you change images and it only shows it for a little while. You can also make it so that it shows it permanently. I'll show you how to do that and how to display the information above the images in the grid view. So in the grid view, if you right click on any image and go to the bottom of the resulting menu to view options, you get a dialog like this. And in grid view, I have it set to show expanded cells. Um, your choices are expanded cells and compact cells. And you can specify what you want to display. Right now, if I were displaying compact cells, that's this section right here, it would be um, I can show the top above the image or below the image or both. And right now I've got above the image is exposure and ISO and below is rating and label. So if I change this to compact cells, you'll see that that's what I've got. I don't have any ratings or labels underneath, but if I did, you'd see it right here. And above, you see my, expo my basic exposure data, exposure and ISO. I can turn off one or the other of those. And uh, I can also add the index number, if that's useful to you. Uh, the rotation arrows uh, so that you can rotate the image there. My camera does that for me, so I don't have to worry about that. And then the expanded cells has a little bit more information, and that's down here at the lower end of this menu. And, and here I've got exposure on the left, upper left, and lens setting on the upper right, then ISO speed rating on the lower left, and exposure program on the lower right. So you can see in here that this one, for example, was at 160th of a second at f2.8 with a 160 millimeter lens. ISO was 1600 and I shot in manual exposure mode. You can change this to all sorts of other things. There's a huge list of possibilities here. I find these to be most often the most useful information. Uh, you may want to have that as file name, for example, or uh, the date. There are all kinds of things that you could use. So once you've finished that, uh, in the loop view, your options are uh, you can show the info, in, info overlay and uh, permanently by having that checked. And you have two choices here. You can, in, and again, you can set this up like you wish. So if I change this to info one, then that's I've got that configured to file name, exposure, and ISO, and exposure program, which you see up here in the upper left. Uh, if I change it to info two, uh, which is one, the one I am most often interested in. It's exposure and ISO, focal length, and exposure program. I am not often interested in what the file name is while I'm working on a photograph. If you want to show it only temporarily, then uncheck that and check the one down here, show briefly when photo changes. And that's the one I tip typically do, so I have that checked. In the grid view, there are other options that uh, I like to check. You can just see what I have selected here. And for example, I don't like seeing the color label fully surrounding an image. I like to see the color label only in a little box down underneath the image here. And so I have unchecked the tint grid cell with color label, but I have checked show rating footer and include color label. So that way I have that little color box down there, but I don't have the whole thing colored. And you can take a look at what I've checked on here um, and you know try things yourself and see what see what you like. And so that's that. We close that. Now one of the other things that's really great about this is that it's very easy to change individual ones of these things. So let's say that uh, at the moment I'm interested in the file name. I can just click on, let's say I'm I want to replace the exposure data with file name. So I can just click on that and click on file name. And 
Now they all have the file name there instead of the exposure data because I clicked on that particular spot. And so I can go back and select any one of these options here and go back to exposure. And uh, I like to have one that's not so long that it, um, if I had the exposure and ISO here, it would fill up that entire space and um, I may not see all of it. So you can easily change what information you're showing at any given moment. That's that. I hope it was useful.